Hello everyone and welcome back to Moss Tree Village and I have some exciting news as the mayor to share with all of you. I have been very busy spending my evenings beetle hunting on the island and I have managed to export enough beetles that I am proud to announce we have completed the dream suite and we have completed the museum expansion. I'm so excited. So we actually have the museum expansion up at the museum on Main Street now and we're going to go check that out ASAP but we're also going to see what kind of mail we have uh, blinking at us over here in our mailbox and we'll check around town. Oh, and I have so many new surprises to show you guys inside too. We've gotten lots of gifts from our friends. We're going to check to see if we have a camper. I managed to give a whole bunch of gifts to Chips and I think he actually played last night. So I wonder if I got anything back from him. I'm not sure. All right, let's see, just one gift. I think this is actually from Caesar because I went over to Caesar's house and we managed to tour his house and he does, he's not inside right now, but he does actually have the vacuum I gave him set up in his house, which I think is hilarious. Oh, and I caught some seahorses. That was so much fun. I've been very busy. I've been having a great time uh, off camera. Oh, it's from Aurora. Oh, Aurora, what do you have to say, my friend? To the classy Siri. Oh yeah, I went over to her house last night too. Your saying you liked my home really inspired me to keep improving it. I'm so excited by the possibilities. Please accept this token of my thanks. Your friend Aurora. Oh, I'm so glad Aurora. And what awesome like little stationery for the autumn season too. But Aurora was really sweet because we went over to her house and she actually talked about how much she loves her outfits, which are the ones that I've like mailed to her to try to get her to wear. And she lines them up and looks at them, but she forgets to put them on and she actually talked about that so it was really sweet i love hanging out with aurora would she send us a step ladder well i'm sure that'll be useful for if we want to set up like sort of a construction looking area we do have a detour arrow that we could also use for that too well let me go ahead and show you guys some of the awesome presents that we have actually gathered up from our friends blanche did it again by the way dun 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 so blanche gave me this vase right here the other day when i went up to talk to her and she just said out of the blue sarah you know how you asked for that white vase well i got it for you and i was like what white vase so she gave me a white vase and she gave me this tea table. You can actually see I have an extra emerald sitting on top of it, but you can get these tea tables. She gave it to me as a gift. I'm so happy. I don't know if I showed you guys the amber yet, and I'm pretty sure I showed you guys the patchwork couch, so I can put that away now. But we also have a new tatami bed that I bought from Punchy. So I got this from Punchy. I don't know what he was doing with it, but I'm pretty excited because it's really cool looking, and it'll be perfect for maybe like a hot spring style house. <gasps> it would be so fun if we had a hot springs we could set up. I love the idea of changing up what we are displaying now and then in our different homes so that if you guys visit or like visit during dream time or you guys have like friend codes that we exchange and you come visit, then you can see all sorts of different events going on in the different buildings. That should be really fun. All right. So that's what they gave me. What else did they give me? Oh yeah. I bought the ranch wall rack, which we'll look at in a second. Uh, I still have that soda fountain. I've been carrying it around to try to get one of the villagers to take it from me. I got a sink which actually sounds ridiculous, but I thought this would be really fun for like a preparation room, um, which you guys may not understand what I mean by that, but like, you know, when you have animals and you have to feed them, so you make all sorts of different prep items for them. And that's what I was thinking is that we could potentially use this sink in a room where we were trying to set up for the animals, uh, like, you know, some food. It looked like a zoo kitchen kitchen or a zoo kitchen tool is what I'm saying. A zoo kitchen sink. All right. And then I'm going to push my little, there you go, little goldfish. You go over there. I can put my tatami bed away now that I've shown it to you guys. I can push some of these things around. Oh, and we have a new wall. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but it is a fancy wall that I think Caesar gave us as a gift. He's really good at giving giving me gifts, even though I'm not sure if I want to keep him like at our at our um town because he's he's a gorilla and I'm a little biased against gorillas but the ranch the ranch wall rack ah dang it I guess you need free space to hang it up but it was pretty cute it's a bunch of little let's see can I put it up here Fooey. All right the the ranch wall rack is actually like a bunch of cute little uh, canned items like canned foods so I thought that would be really fun to have and then yeah the sink and the tatami bed and then the stepladder that we just got sent yep this would be perfect if we were putting it in like some sort of display area where we're showing how we're like currently under construction that might be kind of fun all right so we're good and I need to take this fossil and I need to take the seahorse and a flea I got a flea off of Genji which was really fun so I managed to catch that off of Genji I hear fleas are kind of rare so I was super excited 
I actually yelled a flea and then darling who was laying next to me is like a what but thankfully he realized I was talking about Animal Crossing after a moment all right so let's go take some of these things up to blathers and if we run into some of our villagers then I should be able to sell some things we'll go check out the museum expansion Tabby there's a museum expansion I'm so excited you're looking so you today Siri oh so what's going on Kerpow? So, like, I heard you're totally great at catching bugs, Siri. I need your help. I have to have a mantis. Catch one for me, Kerpow? Um, I'll try. I'll see if I stumble on a mantis today. I love helping the villagers. Caesar, as much as you're a gorilla and I wouldn't mind if you would move. Oh, is that? No, that's a, a grasshopper. He is really friendly and he does give really good gifts. I'm impressed to see that you're surviving, Highness. So, did you need something? I'm thinking about redecorating my room and wanted to replace my tea set. Yeah, maybe I'll get another piece of furniture. Do you have any good recommendations for me? Uh, let's see what he wants. I would love to be able to get a tea set. That sounds really cool. That's classy, Caesar. So would you like uh, a sink, a tatami bed, a stepladder, a patchwork sofa, a soda fountain, maybe? Maybe? What do you think about a soda fountain, Caesar? Too much? I just wanted some furniture to put on top of something so I can finally replace my tea set. Sorry, Siri, but this piece just won't do the trick. All right, that's fine, Caesar. Let me think about what else I could potentially give him. Maybe a fish? Hmm, Caesar, you look like a man. Hmm, a man. Aw, oh, there's no camper today. Maybe he could use a flower? Here, let's try giving him this iris, actually. I think that would be pretty. His room is kind of classy looking. All right, Caesar, let's try this again. What do you think? about a flower. Ah, I can't give him a flower. What do you think about a ladybug? That sounds kind of classy. What about this little guy? Yeah? Oh, a ladybug. Hey, a bug wouldn't make a bad addition to my room, Highness. Hello, ladybug. Let's be good friends, yeah? Ha <laughs> ha My entomology, like, addiction spreads through all of the villagers. Wonderful. And now would we get- I love getting gifts from the villagers. It's so fun. A ranch bed. Thanks again for the help. Ooh, ranch bed sounds pretty. We'll go look at that really quickly since we're on our way home. This is Blanche's rose garden, by the way, which I really love. <laughs> There's so many roses here. So I'm really happy to have this uh, to share with Blanche. Let's see. Oh, and it looks like my, my irises are spreading. Wonderful. The villagers are really good at planting these. Tabby actually planted this particular iris right in front of me, which I thought was really fun. No new black irises. And we'll take a quick peek at the ranch bed and then we'll go look at the museum expansion because I really am so excited about that. All right, ranch bed, ranch bed. Am I gonna keep the ranch bed? I like the tatami bed. Patchwork sofa, there we go, ranch bed. I've got a lot of stuff all of a sudden. Aww, it's cute, it's cute. It matches better than the tatami bed. But now that I, I've held both of them, they'll be in my catalog. So if I ever want to get more, I know where to go. Right now, I guess I'm just sleeping on the ground. All right, there we go. Two blathers. Uh, and while I'm around here, that's a migratory locust. See, entomology expert in the making. I'm finally starting to be able to tell the difference between all the different bugs. That was a, a very doomed bug. <laughs> all right, let's see. What are we selling for extra at retail today? Let's see, lemons, we have some lemons. They actually grow behind the retail shop too. That's fun, I'll collect up those lemons and sell them in just a little bit. But let's come over and speak with Isabel so that we can celebrate the museum expansion and then we will go and actually visit the museum expansion. Isabel, 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 how are you today? Let me pop over here. Oh, and we have a new shoe star shop named Kix that's opened up too. Oh, Mayor, I just remembered. The townsfolk would like to hold a ceremony to celebrate completing the museum renovation project. And considering that you're the one who made it possible, we want you to attend. What do you say? All right, let's go ahead and do this. It's still new enough to me that I have fun with the ceremony, even though it's the same every time. All right, Isabel. <gasps> Celeste is here! Yay! Oh, that's so fun! Welcome to the grand completion ceremony for Moss Tree's Vital Museum Renovation Project. Thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. I'm Isabel, and I'll be your host today. Yay! Museum expansion! Thank you, thank you. You're too kind. We're going to keep this short and sweet, so let's jump right in. First, we'll have an incredibly short speech from our very own mayor. Take it away, Mayor Siri. All right. Um, we did it! Yay! They're so cute. 
Well said, Mayor. You have quite a way with words. All right. Everybody, please locate the item we passed out earlier and get ready. So interesting to note, we have Punchy, Tabby, Celeste, Isabel, Caesar, and Big Top here. And... Oh, so cute! Yes! That concludes our ceremony. Thanks, everyone, for all your hard work and taking the time out of your busy schedules to be here. Yay! All right. So that concludes our little ceremony, and we'll have to see what kind of public work projects we have to work on next. What do you guys all think about that? Punchy, are you are you checking out the bird there? Are you hungry? Hey there, Siri. How's it going, Moops? So what can I do for you? I read that eating fruit can prevent scurvy. I don't know exactly what scurvy is, but I don't want it. So would you do me a favor and bring me some fruit? <laughs> okay. So now I'm looking for a mantis and some fruit. So we'll have a fun time. And let's just double check. Tomorrow, <gasps> a tourney, a fishing tourney tomorrow. Oh, that'll be so fun. There's going to be a trophy and everything. Oh, that's going to be so fun. Okay. Thanks to everyone's generosity, M Moss Trees Museum has... Uh, Exhibit rooms on the second floor. Please check them out for yourself. All right, let's go do that right now And then we'll come back and we'll feed fruit to a punchy and we'll go and we'll see if we can find a mantis They usually hang out on top of the flowers, but I don't know if it's kind of late in the day for a mantis But just imagine you guys if we had the other houses then I would be able to pop into one of those places Oh, what's this? Is this the dream suite? <gasps> we'll have to start doing our like Sunday dream days. That would be so fun. Blathers, let's check out this expansion. I'm so excited. Ever since I learned about this, I wanted to do this. <gasps> Blathers, Blathers, did you know there's a whole, there's a whole new area? Are you gonna say anything about it? Who? Pardon me? Nope, he's just gonna say the usual, that's okay. Would you like to assess this fossil, my friend? All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna give him this fossil to assess. There you go, Blathers. Is it something? Oh, it's some more amber. Oh my gosh. Well, that's awesome. So it's a, we've got amber and a lot of uh, dinosaur eggs, which are really fun. So we'll just go ahead and keep those so I can display them in our own areas, including upstairs. All right, and now we'll donate the flea and the seahorse. So Blathers should be happy about that. That's kind of funny because I know those pedestal items are actually a little bit hard to get. Um, maybe I'll give a, some of them away as a gift. Maybe that would be perfect, like giving away some of the museum stuff if you can give them to your friends. I'm not sure if you're allowed to. All right, let's go upstairs and check out the expansion for the first time. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh, and she's so cute. Celeste, are you sleeping over here? Oh my gosh, she's precious. Hello. Hey. Oh my gosh. Oh dear me. I do beg your pardon. I'm just dressing my eyes. So, um, welcome to Moss Tree's personal exhibit and gift shop floor. Thanks to you, this floor is newly opened. We thank you very much for all your support. By the way, Siri, this is the first time you've seen this floor. Is, th is that right? If you have the time, I'd love to briefly explain this floor. Would you like to listen now? Okay. Celeste, she's so cute. I like her little dots. Citizens of this town can use any exhibit room on this floor as they see fit for display. We rent personal exhibit space for a fair price, so please let me know if you want to use them. You can decorate the rooms in the same way you would decorate your very own home. If you use the locker next to the staircase, you can easily grab items from home to use in the exhibit. You can also store any items you might be carrying, so it makes things very convenient. Siri, I hope you enjoy crafting a lot of unique displays. That's all I have to say about the personal exhibit spaces. Also, I sell souvenir here in the hall, so come by often. Plus, I stock commemorative goods when the collection downstairs get large enough. Watch for those. Oh my gosh, she's got so much going on in here. <gasps> Look at this. That is a tall display case. I recommend using it either in your home or in an exhibit room here in the museum. The price is 200 and <laughs> 2,000, I mean, 500 bells. What would you like to do? Um, well, I don't think I'll grab it just yet, my dear. Hang on, I need to look around a little bit. Okay, it looks like she sells silver? Silver nets? It's being sold to celebrate our achievement of 30 bugs in our bug collection. The price is 500 bells. Um, I won't take it just yet, my dear, because I'm not sure why I would need silver ones. And then here are all the personal exhibit spaces. This is so cool. And there's lockers so I can swap out my items really quickly if I need to. So fun. Ah, oh, I wonder, can you visit these when you're, I hear when you are dreaming, like you have somebody visiting because they're in the dream state, they're not able to come to your main street. So let me know if that's true or not. And then what's this? 
Uh, now seeking exhibitors, please see 2F staff if interested. Oh, can I talk to her about renting? Sorry, Celeste. I really hate to bother you at this time of day. I know you're snoozy. Oh gosh, she's so cute. All right, she's so cute. All right, uh, I want to display. The rooms are available now. Which one would you like to use? Uh, can I see exhibit hall four? 10,000 bells, sure, sure, I'll go ahead, why not? <laughs> All right, would you like me to explain? No, I, I think I've got it, I can, I can decorate it however I want. That's so fun, okay, so she just opened up my new hall. Oh, I'm so excited, I can display whatever I want in here. Okay, let's see how big it is. Is it a good display hall? All right, <gasps> it's huge! It's got so much space, you guys! This is gonna be awesome! What should I decorate in here with? Not the ranch bed, or the patchwork sofa, or the stepladder. Um, I guess we could put the stepladder out right now, just to kind of be like, we're under construction. And then, maybe not the sink, maybe the tatami bed? We could kind of make it, like, even the amber? <laughs> We can use it. We can use it to display all sorts of things in here because I have oh, nope, nope, nope I want to push the tatami bed around a little bit because I do have some interesting items Okay, let's push this tatami bed over here And I don't know about the amber, but I only have one display room right now I'm gonna have to earn more cash and open all of them up. All right. How far back? There we go. So I got some amber. I actually got some pretty fun items that I was thinking could specifically be used as display pieces. So let me go grab some things. And then I can have an extra uh, entomology room. I can have an extra room for an aquarium. You guys were super excited about that too. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, so there's the, ra oh, the raccoon figure would be good in there. And there's a lantern. Let's see, the ghost mask, another dinosaur egg would be good in there. The sword would be good displayed in there. Uh, not the minimalistic wardrobe. <gasps> oh, we could use the Spaceman Sam and make like a little uh, observatory. That would be really fun. Oh, the kimono would be good. Star projector, detour arrow, stroller. There we go. I got a King Tut mask. I actually bought that. It was very expensive. It was like 12,000 bells because I thought the King Tut mask would make an excellent display piece. All right, what else do we have over here? The ninja hood. That could actually be a cool decorative piece too. Um, I'm gonna put the sink away for now. Red hood, maple umbrella. I'm so excited, you guys. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh, and I got a wheat field and a bird bath the last time I was playing too. I've been having a really great time just like having fun off camera, which I normally never do, but I just, I love this so much, you guys. Green lace up dress, anything else? I still have those hibiscus starts I need to do something with. The trunk, the fancy doll, hmm, a whole bunch of gemstones and gyres. I'm gonna have to get more money and I'm gonna have to just like open up all of these rooms and we will decorate them so much with all of the different items we've got. Charcoal tile, oh, the Roman helmet. That's right, I was gonna give that to Chips. Oh, I was gonna give all these things to Chips. Okay, I gotta send them all to him, but the Roman helmet might be really good to display in here. All right, there we go. I'm so excited! Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to decorate all of this. And then to think that I might even have some additional houses to treat like this too. Oh, that'll be so fun. All right, so if I have my little King Tut mask and I wanna display it, see, I thought it would be perfect. It would be even better if I had some sort of display table to put it on. But I'm gonna go ahead and just put that kind of right here for now. And then I also have, let's see, the ninja hood, which I thought would be good for display too. See, look at that, nice, nice. I really do need to have some like display tables, but for now they're doing pretty good. Oh, and I bought a skeleton hood by the way, which looks really cool, check it out. <laughs> So I do have that as well. I'm gonna have to put in some orders at Tommy and Timmy's shop I think for some different flooring that we can put into these rooms Nice display rooms. I'm so excited and then let's see so the sword the kimono I think the kimono would be pretty fun to look at. Let's go ahead and put the kimono maybe down here. Whoops Yeah, we'll put it maybe down or maybe like in front of the tatami bed and it's gonna be a bit messy. Whoops, I didn't want to wear it. Oh well, we're showing it off really quickly. Here we go. And we'll go ahead and display. There we are. But yeah, we'll go ahead and work on setting up all these display rooms so they look really nice. 
And I'm very excited about that because it, it's totally perfect for my pack rat nature at how to go through and collect up these items. Let's see. So yeah, the only things I want to show off now, maybe the sword. So pretty cool sword. Um, I guess I can push it over here and then rotate it. There we go. And then we do have another dinosaur egg. So I'm gonna need another section for entomology, maybe another aquarium. It would be really fun with the houses that we can get to kind of treat them like little shops and maybe be able to share some of the, the items that we have with people who come by. That would be really cool. All right, I think I know what I wanna put over here. So let me put the stepladder here. And then I'm gonna put the raccoon figure, which we got quite a bit ago. It's almost like a raccoon figure dedicated to the nooklings. I like it. And we're going to put it kind of right here. Like we're currently working on it. I love it. Look at my little new museum. It's coming along. It's definitely needing a little bit of help, but it's a perfect place to show off a whole bunch of my special items. So I'm very happy. All right. A plus plus plus. Wonderful. Well, let's go check out a couple of the other new things that are around here too. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and buy this just so we have it. Sorry, Celeste. I'm not sure what we can put inside of the display case. Okay, like, is it only paintings? Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and buy it just so I can make sure that we've got it covered. And then we'll see if I can buy it again from Tommy and Timmy's shop. And what happens? I'm going to put it in and see what kind of items can I can put in. Can I put in, like, the sword and display the sword in this? Let's see. Big display case. I'm going to go ahead and display you. There we go. And how do I put something inside of it? Hmm. Do you change the painting in it? Can I display the flower? No, but I can leave it there just to kind of perk the room up. Okay. Well, at least I bought that. So now I have to figure out what to do with it. I guess you put in maybe the paintings you can get from Red. I haven't seen Red in ages. I was really lucky to find him when we did because I haven't stumbled on him again since then. But yay! Yay for our new museum! I'm so happy. It's going to be a lot of fun collecting up totally random items. I love how you get random items from the villagers and collecting them and sharing them. It's going to be fantastic. I'm very happy. Oh, this is so awesome, you guys. And we have the dream suite and we have club lol and we have nook homes, which I need to peek into Oh, I'm so happy and I still want to have like a fishing day. Oh, it's just gonna be fantastic Hey, how you doing? How you doing Tom? How you doing? Let me take a peek. Um, no, I really don't want barbed wire. Thank you, Tom I'm really I'm not looking. I'm not running that kind of village. I'm not that concerned So I'll have to come back another day there we go. We'll, we'll discuss things. I have to go collect more of the beetles. I feel like we need a room decked out in gold dedicated to all of the beetles I sell that have made our town so wealthy. All right, let's go into the super TNT and we'll see what they're selling today. I do need to grab my candy for the day too. Hi. Hi, Timmy. All right. So what do we have here? What's this? This is cute. A polka dot closet. I'll take it because it'll be perfect for like an entomology room actually. I think that'd be really cute. And it, wow, he's really in the cooking mood because we have a milk case. Huh. You know what? I'm gonna buy it because that's adorable. Like I said, it's almost fun to think about. Oh, what's that? That's so cute. I want it. It would be fun to set up like a little shop and then when people visit, I could sell and or just like give them things. It's all about the light role play esqueness of it, you know? All right, I'm going to buy that spooky lantern because that's adorable. I would definitely decorate with that. Now, this kitchen, I'm okay. Unless, well, I mean, I guess I could probably maybe take this. You know what? Oh my gosh, it's just, it's just a little bit too expensive. I'll see if I can come back here Timmy. Why don't you why don't I sell you something random? All right, thank you Timmy. Do you want it? Do you want to sell I want to sell something to you even though you're going to take uh Yeah Let's see Let's see what I want to sell to him if it's gonna be worth anything the ranch bed Maybe the spooky wall lamp. Nope patchwork sofa Uh, Do you want the soda fountain Timmy because I don't really want to display the soda fountain anywhere here you go. There you go. All right. And I, I'm going to buy this. But the reason I'm going to buy this is I want to see if I can change the colors by taking it to Cyrus. Because I haven't tried out Cyrus's ability, like his his special like change everything ability just yet. Um, oh, geez. I don't think I have enough. I think I have just enough actually for the candy now. <laughs> Timmy, how did you manage to get all my money yet again? 
<laughs> How did this happen, Timmy? I don't understand. You're really good at that. All right, and what about this? Oh, a cityscape wall, huh? What does it look like? Huh, that's kind of pretty, but I'm okay. Like that would be really fun for an art room, actually. So maybe I'll I'll come back and get that when I have more money lately. Lady, late later. Oh my gosh. I saw Kitty, and so Kitty kind of threw itself in there. All right, now I already bought that, so it should be in my catalog. All right, wonderful. And actually, I did want to special order something. The ornate rug. Let me go ahead and see what it looks like. Eh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. I want to special order the uh, carpet that looks like grass. So what would? how much would that be? We're going to come over to the shopping catalog. And then I think I can come over here, and then we're going for carpet, and then I want the Daisy Meadow. Not for sale! <gasps> wow! You can only get the Daisy Meadow when when Sahara comes in. I'm going to remember that. Wow, the Daisy Meadow just got even more valuable. I had no idea. It's one of my favorite of the floors, and I had no idea it was that rare. All right, Leaf, I'm sorry I haven't been visiting your shop. I'll come back. And then Kicks, which I haven't been into yet, so let's take a peek. What's in here, huh? Hello? Hello! Are you a fox? Hello, chum. Craggy, it's the mayor! Here, in my shop! Welcome, miss! My name's Kix. I run this little shoe shop. Please have a look around. Oh my goodness, hello! I didn't know I could wear different shoes! Gosh, those are cute! Those are some clogs! They're nice and modern, don't you think? The price is just 480 bells. You want them? Or maybe you want to try them on first. I would love to try them on. <laughs> That's so cute. Just the tiniest little details. If you want to buy them, it'll be 480 bells. I'll pass for now. Thank you. Ten oh, that's so cute. All right, so we can come and visit with him. You can try on... Oh, he's a skunk! That's so cute! You can try on the shoes, but you can't try on the socks. Sorry about that, young miss. Oh, my gosh. Wait, are these... They're tights? <gasps> what? What? Okay, not right now. He actually sells tights and everything like that, too. There's so much. So much you can buy in here. Very nice to meet you, Kix. That's so cool. I really love your shop. All right, I've never, I've never seen him before, so I'm very excited. So we have the shoe store. What are they selling inside the Abel Sisters? Just going to take a peek, even though I have no money. Gosh, this is so exciting. I cannot wait to decorate... It's going to be so much fun uh, decorating the new place. I mean, look, this could be a perfect, like, weird hat that we could show off. No offense, label. That we could show off a historical, like, costume area. Oh, that's so fun. We oh, hey, Genji's here. What you doing up here, Genji? Hey, Omega S. Getting size for some new sweatpants? What can I help you with? How you doing, Genji? Clothes are all about mobility. If you have the most mobility on the battlefield, you win, Otaku. <laughs> all right. Oh, you changed your outfit, Genji. <laughs> he got he got this shirt. That's adorable. All right. Well, I'll have to like make some displays of my own. I haven't gotten the SD card reader yet, so I can't figure out how to like make other people's displays show up in town so that the people will wear them. But we'll work on that in the future. All right. Now that I am totally weighed down with all of the wonderful goods that we just snagged from the TNT. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, hey, Punchy. I was supposed to get you some fruit. Hang on. Never mind. I'll be back in just a second. Okay. Uh, lemons are selling for extra today, but I don't really need... Okay. Here's a, here's a peach. We're just going to give him a good old-fashioned peach. All right. And let's see what he has to give us. Maybe it'll be some rare item that I could put in my museum, Punchy. Because I'm hungry. Anyway, did you need something? Here. You want to eat this? I know you're really hungry. Oh. Give, give the seahorse. No, we're going to give him a peach. There you go. All right. There you go, Punchy. Man, I can't wait another second. Down the hatch. All right. Do you have do you have something something super rare now? A lovely lamp. Well, that's not quite what was on my list, but thank you. Awesome. All right. Oh, that reminds me, Punchy. I gave Punchy a hammerhead shark, which sounds pretty ridiculous, but I wanted to see if he'd display it in his house because he asked for something to display in his house. So, Punchy, Punchy, come on. You want me to go visit your house, please? Say, what do you think of my outfit, Siri? Uh, cute. You think I look cute? Like a stuffed animal or something? Well, a compliment's a compliment. So thanks, I guess. <laughs> well, you're wearing the corset shirt. Which is just, it took over town for a little while there. 
I think I might be about time to open up that time capsule you buried. Will you please go get it for me, Siri? Oh, wow. Okay, Big Top. I mean, I think it's only been like a week or two. Do I have any room for that? Yeah, I do. Do I have, do I have my shovel? No, I don't. Where did I put my shovel? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, oh, wow. When did I get that much money? I'm rich. I was sitting on top of a bunch of money and I didn't even know it. Oh my gosh. Um, what? That's a werewolf hood. Okay. Well, suddenly there's money and werewolf hoods everywhere. I clearly need to clean this out. Ha, huh? shovel. I need to clean this out from time to time, it seems. I could have sworn, I know I buried the time capsule up here. Does it hide itself if you, if you like, don't check it out for a while? Is this it? Sweet. Look, I dug up a time capsule. What do you mean I can't think? Oh, with the letters? Interesting. Okay, so I need to clear away my letters, I think. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and toss this one. And then let's dig up the time capsule again. I did not expect to do this today. I love how much there is to do. Every day you're like, oh, it's really simple. You're just taking care of your little animal villagers. Not too much to keep you too busy. And then what do you know? Let's put all these away. Sweet. And then what do you know? You actually stay super busy all the time. And apparently I have plenty of bells to be able to open up the other areas of the museum too. All right, hey, Punchy, don't mind me. Big top. Big Top, I don't think this... Uh, okay, that rock is supposed to be there. Big Top? Hi again, isn't it funny how we keep running into each other? So what can I do for you? Capsule time! Capsule time! There's your time capsule, my friend. I didn't open it, just like you asked. Woohoo, it's so good to see my time capsule again. I can't even remember when I put it in here. It's time to peek inside. I put a Dawn Tank in here? Wow, I totally forgot about that. And there's a letter in here. I totally forgot about that too. To future big, my dear, uh, dear future big top, my uncle gave me this item as a souvenir, but souvenir clothes are kind of lame. So maybe you'll figure out a cool way, a way to keep them cool, future me. Your pal, past big top. That's hilarious. This is great stuff. Past me definitely had a way with words. As my way of saying thanks, have this, Siri. What do you give me? Oh, it's a shirt. Hmm. It's a dawn tank. Next time I'll bury a time capsule. I'll let you know, villain. Oh, so cool. So I think we made him pretty happy. I don't see any mantises, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Tabby. It doesn't look like there's any mantises about. I'll check these flowers just to give them a fair glance. Nope. And over here is where I'm gonna put the two other buildings if I can. All right, and then we'll, we're gonna start working on some of the big town projects too. So I'm pretty excited now that I have the museum renovations out of the way. Hello, Reese. I'm just trying to wiggle past you to visit your side guy. I'm gonna see if he can reformat this little lovely kitchen for me. All right, I have a project for you. I've never done this before. So let's see if he's going to let me do anything. All right, and then kitchen, patchwork sofa, ranch bed, closet, kitchen, yes. A lovely kitchen. The body color, that can be ah, redone, yes. All right, yes, please. All right. Now, uh, what do you suggest? Let's see. Uh, pink and white, ew. <laughs> I want, I want not pink. That was my goal. Um, pink and white, maybe? I guess we'll go ahead and try this out. Hmm. All right, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and give it to him because I've never done this before. So I guess we have to like leave it with him and then come back and get it later and it'll be customized. Oh, 30 minutes, wow, he's done really, oh gosh, and look, he's gonna work on it too, that's really cool. I'll go ahead and display something to try to get one of the villagers to buy it. And then I think we're good for now. Man, busy day setting up, spooky wall lamp, ranch bed, patchwork sofa, milk case, polka dot closet, lovely lamp, uh, ranch wall rack. Let's put the patchwork sofa up. I would love to see that in one of the villagers' houses. Um, that would just be adorable, actually. I kind of like it too, so I may come back and get it because the patchwork sofa is kind of cute for like the bug room. You could like sit on it and just enjoy the nice bug room. Wonderful. All right. So I think that's good for now, you guys, because getting the museum up and going, that's pretty awesome. Hey, Tabby, I'm sorry I can't find any praying mantises for you. 
There's just that bell cricket kind of chirping there. And then we'll have to figure out what public works project to take on next. But at least I've got a little bit of money, so maybe I can fund the development of a couple of the new houses to kind of flesh out the town and really get started on actually making some progress and making this town look nice. Because right now it's just kind of all over the place. So thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.